coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Lilium EV Tall achieves full transition. DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise announced. And federal project to investigate drone delivery in rural Germany. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Lilium eVTOL achieves full transition. Lilium has announced that its Phoenix 2 eVTOL technology demonstrator aircraft achieved its first full transition from vertical thrust-powered flight to horizontal wingborne aerodynamic flight. This was accomplished during a September 23rd test flight. The company currently holds provisional sales agreements for 483 aircraft. Lilium CEO Klaus Rova reported also that deposits had been taken on a limited edition executive version of the Lilium jet, which the company has begun to offer through private aviation powerhouse NetJets. Lilium engineers plan to add an additional technology demonstrator to the company's flight test program in preparation for the construction of the first type-conforming specimen of its seven-passenger eVTOL, which is slated to fly in 2024. Recent battery aging performance tests have shown that Lilium's target of over 800 recharge cycles with 80% capacity retention is attainable. The test data bodes well for the dispatch reliability and range of the company's future production aircraft. In the short term, Lilium is preparing for a design organization approval audit to be conducted by EASA during the first half of 2023. Type certification is now targeted for 2025. To date, Lilium has filed 69 patent applications germane to its eVTOL concept, of which the European Patent Office has published 42. And after the break, Aviation announces successful test flight of all-electric aircraft. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the uncrewed vehicle communities. Aviation announces successful test flight of all-electric aircraft. Not unmanned, but with clear implications for the industry, following years of intensive development and choruses of naysaying, Alice, the all-electric nine-passenger commuter aircraft designed and built by Aviation, has made its inaugural flight. The nine-minute undertaking saw the unconventional machine lift off at approximately 710 PDT from Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake, Washington. Test pilot Steve Crane urged Alice to an altitude of 3,500 feet and made several passes over the airport vicinity before bringing the sleek, low-wing aircraft to safe landing. AMA summarizes and calls attention to H.R. 5315. AMA has called attention to actions by the House of Representatives who recently passed H.R. 5315, the Drone Infrastructure Inspection Grant Act. It's not clear if the Senate will vote on a similar bill this year or if it will be incorporated into FAA reauthorization in 2023. If the Drone Infrastructure Inspection Grant Act becomes law, it could provide many educational opportunities for youth looking to make a career in UAS or related technologies. Albuquerque celebrates 50th International Balloon Fiesta, TFR, in place. 
From a modest 1972 debut during which 13 balloons launched from a shopping mall parking lot, the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta has grown to the world's premier ballooning event. Ergo, the FAA has established a TFR area within a four-mile radius of the center of the Balloon Fiesta Park. Control of aircraft within the TFR is at the sole discretion of the FAA and the Balloon Fiesta stewards. Unauthorized aircraft to include drones are prohibited from operating within the boundaries without the express permission of the aforementioned entities. Capitol Hill FAA Reauthorization Hearings Imminent The first Capitol Hill hearings at per tenant 2023's FAA Reauthorization Bill are scheduled to commence on Wednesday, September 28, 2022. The hearings, in a literal and profound sense, will determine the objectives, limitations, and budgets with which the world's most powerful and influential civil aviation authority will be respectively charged and constrained for the next five years. Among the hearings to be convened is a proceeding titled FAA Reauthorization, Integrating New Entrants into the National Airspace System. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise announced. DJI has introduced its new DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise series. The DJI Mavic 3e and DJI Mavic 3t are reportedly the most comprehensive improvement to the world's compact drone offerings in three years. The two new Mavic 3 Enterprise drones are based on DJI's prosumer Mavic 3 series. The DJI Mavic 3e integrates a 20-megapixel wide-angle camera with a 4.3 CMOS sensor with large 3.3 micrometer pixels that, together with intelligent low-light mode, offer significantly improved performance in dim conditions. Its powerful up to 56 times hybrid zoom camera has an equivalent focal length of 162 millimeters for 12-megapixel images. The DJI Mavic 3T has the same telecamera as Mavic 3E, a 48-megapixel camera with a half-inch CMOS sensor, as well as a thermal camera with a display field of view of 61 degrees and an equivalent focal length of 40 millimeters with 640 by 512 pixel resolution. The Mavic 3T's thermal and zoom cameras support 28-time continuous side-by-side -side digital zoom for easy comparisons. DJI O3 Enterprise transmission capability allows for a maximum control range of 15 kilometers. The Mavic 3 Enterprise series drones include DJI AirSense, while the new improved DJI APAS System 5.0 for obstacle sensing with zero blind spots is supported by six omnidirectional fisheye sensors. And after these messages, federal project to investigate drone delivery in rural Germany. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Federal project to investigate drone delivery in rural Germany. The Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences has partnered with Wingcopter, the German maker of eVTOL delivery drones, to test the logistics, economics, and general feasibility of delivering consumer goods to rural residents via a system comprising Wingcopter's drones and a fleet of electric cargo bikes. Flights and rides are scheduled to commence in the west-central German state of Hesse in the spring of 2023. 
Under the auspices of a project called Drolex, a portmanteau of drone in Lost and Rod Express, Beliefarung, drone cargo bike express delivery, everyday goods will be flown by wingcopter drones from a central distribution center to outlying villages where the products will be handed over to electric bike couriers for delivery to end customers. The project's operations and end results will be evaluated from economic and environmental perspectives and, if deemed successful, will serve as the basis for the development of a sustainable and scalable business model. Drone delivery enables local and regional retailers to compete with e-commerce titans the likes of Amazon, Walmart, Target, and AliExpress, thereby ensuring the survival of private enterprise and the sustainment of competition essential to capitalist economies. What's more, the 53-knot speed, 6-kilogram payload, and 59-nautical-mile range of Wingcopter's 198 series delivery drones stands to significantly expand the customer cashment area of smaller retailers. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.